sometimes you just have this great idea of a game, but it can be really hard to do it on your own. We wanted uh, space for our studio's creativity to flow free. So that we could try unconventional approaches to solving new ideas. There are times where you've got to like break past your own sort of mental blocks. Even if that meant building a whole new kind of game engine. We get to do the game we want to do. Nothing, and I mean nothing, comes into the game if it doesn't follow the vision. We can really push our ideas further and bigger than we first imagined. Let's find that magic. And now for a deeper dive into what these developers are working on, we turn our spotlight on three studios. Up first is Hazelight and their mild-mannered, quiet leader, Joseph Ferris. Let's do it. Please welcome Joseph Ferris. There are like passionate people, there are crazy people, and there is me. Okay, can you swear here? Can you, you can swear? swear? Okay. The Oscars, you know? <laughs> the Oscars! You! No apologies there. Uh, yeah, I know I'm cocky. I can't help it, man. I was born in Beirut, 1977. I lived there 10 years. There was civil war, and there was a lot of uh, bad stuff happening there. We tried to move five times to Sweden. The fifth time they let us in. Uh, and that's lucky for Sweden, because I've given Sweden a lot, you know. <laughs> my third movie, Zozo, is basically about my life when I came to Sweden when I was young. I've done five feature movies, and now I've done three games. And it's way hard to make a game. It's almost like the audience have control of the pacing of the story, while the movies is being paced for you. In video games, there's so much to be explored from a storytelling perspective because of the interactivity. There are some studios out there that are making games that have good stories, but they pretty much have one mechanic they like, reuse all the time. The designers and the story writers are, are kind of like doing two different games. That's why I founded Hazelight, to keep pushing the boundaries of what is possible in games. That's what game number three from Hazelight is all about. And action. The new game, It Takes Two, is a co-op action-adventure platformer that will blow your f***ing mind away. The story starts out with a small family. Cody, May, that's the parents, and then Rose, the little daughter. So Cody and May are about to separate. Rose doesn't want them to divorce. So she creates two dolls out of wood and clay, and these dolls magically come alive and actually controls both Cody and May. And you could say you're almost controlling their emotions. You're almost playing their emotions. There's even levels where we're actually making a mechanic for their emotions. So again, marrying the story and the mechanics. And I think for the players, that's gonna feel very new, different, and unique. They haven't played anything like this before. It Takes Two is a crazy roller coaster ride that doesn't really have an ending. It has an ending, but th that ending is that the roller coaster crashes and you fly into the sky and get up into space. And when you're in space, you're like, what the f am I doing up here? And then maybe you get back to, to Earth again. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. It takes two, actually.